solving quadratics by factoring. But first, we need a game plan. A game plan. First, we're going to set it equal to zero. The quadratic. Then, we're going to factor. Teach me how to factor. I <laughs> tried. And then, the zero factor property and solve. We've hit the third level. Cha. The fancy stuff. Let's go. Let's get it. This guy. Whoa. I set it equal to zero. Done. Then what? I factor. Oh, that's already factored. Leave it alone. If you distribute it back in there, you're going to just have to factor it back out. But I still do have some work here, son. I'm factoring that 3 and that 21 to see the sum is going to be 16. Let's see, that's 7 and 3, so I can have a, a 9 and 7, 9 and 7, they add, oh yeah, I'm factoring by the guess and check method, sure, boom, boom, 3, 1, x, x, 7 needed to multiply by the 1, so 7, and then, 3 needed to multiply by the 3, then. The signs are the same and they're both negative. Boom, boom. Let's check it. That's minus 7x and minus 9x. That's minus 16x. Nice! We factored by the guess and check. There's a lot of methods of factoring. I recommend the AC. Whew. I wish we had it in here. Gosh, it's so hot. So then, a 2x plus 5. Then nice. And that's still equal to 0, but I'm going to use my 0 factor property three times. But some of you guys now, that were at the third level, you're like it's the opposite sign. So, x is equal to a minus 5 halves, because you're all woom, woom. And then, it's a positive 7 thirds, woom, woom. And then, it's a 3, 2, 2. And then, we have a nice set. Box and flower. That was kind of the introductory example to this guy. I need to get it all to one side. Set it equal to zero. And I do that now. So I'm going to have a 9x times x minus 7. Could you multiply everything out and then get it to one side? Yeah, but this one's special. Special. Minus, whoa. 2x plus 7 times x minus 7. How did I know to do this? I see I have a common factor there. The x is minus 7. The x is minus 7. And then once I have the x's minus the 7, I can go and I can pull that out. x minus 7. Oh, this is fancy. Uh -huh. Now I'm going to rewrite everything that's left over. These guys, that 9x and that minus 2x plus 7. So that's at 9x x minus that 2x plus 7. Now I can set them all equal to 0 now, but let me just go and let's clean this up. Sure, it goes oot, oot. That's a 9x minus 2x, and then that's a minus 7. A little bit further now. That's a 7x minus 7. And then, I'm going to bring this guy on down. That's an x minus 7. All right. And then that's equal to 0. Now I use my zero factor property. And we say 7x minus 7. Some of you guys are like, why did I use squares there? I could have used rounds. That's going to be equal to 0. Or x minus 7 is equal to 0. Then, I'm going to end up with, woom, woom, you are the one. And seven curlies, box and flower. Some of y'all might be wondering why I'm using curlies. That's because this is a set. It's the one I claim is the answer. But if you don't believe me, cut. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.